Hello you guys and welcome to my channel. Today I want to show you how to make a gothic round window named also Rose. I'm using a picture from Pinterest that I saved on my desktop and I'm dragging this one uh, and dropping it to my ground floor. Now I'm going to measure it from side to side and it has approximately 6 meters so I'm going to make it 12. To rescale an image you need to select it, type on the keyboard Control K, then this window appears of resizing. Leave everything as it is, everything is ticked, click OK. Then I'm clicking here on this side, on the left side, and um, to have a straight line you need to hold Shift. And I'm clicking here on the other side. And now I can enter the new dimension and I'm clicking R. And the distance is going to be 12 meters because I just want to make it larger. And I'm pressing Enter. And there, there you go, you have your resized image. Now uh, I will use a circle and I want to make it with a red pen because I want it more visible. And I'm going here in the center and I'm making this circle here. Now this is my main circle and I'm making it in the middle because I'm going to use a beam, a custom beam, to make this shape. And now if you want to split this in six, this is my middle, I'm going to draw a line over this. Of course I need to drag it up because it's not in the centre. I'm making everything red just to be able to see it and I'm hoping I can see so control D to drag it exactly there in the middle. Great. Now I know this is my middle, I just need to make sure this is correct. Now make sure you have your snap guides set up to half. So you can see the middle and control shift E because I want to drag to rotate a copy. Now holding shift can make sure you have a straight line and now I have the middle and I have uh, quarters. Now this circle here, I, I'm selecting the circle, Control shift d to drag a copy and what I'm going to do is I'm dragging from the middle point to this edge to this edge and then I'm dragging a copy doing the same thing and there you go here you will have six sides so if I want to make sure I'm doing this right I'm going to do it with blue let's see if it works with blue so, from this intersection here, make sure you're selecting, you're, you're using the polygonal method. Going to this point, this point, this point, this point, this point. This point. Oh, I forgot that one. Yes. Continue polyline, this point, okay. Now I have a hexagon. I will delete this circle and this one as well. And there you go. This is how you make a hexagonal, hexagonal shape. Now after we've used the middle part, um, I'm dragging this point to this corner here. And I'm going to do a mirror, Control shift m I'm using my middle line, I guess. And you, now you have this one sliced. And now let's make uh, the inner circle. 
and I'm doing the same as I did before so I'm just using this um, middle side because everything is going to go around and let's let's make a curve like this I'm making a duplicate let's make it three point two okay so I'm doing this all the way And now let's make the B. I'm going to make the one that is a frame basically. And as you can see here, I'm going to measure. Let's make it one. Let's make it one meter. That means my fill is going to be. one and then here I'm going to put point three now I just need to make some edges so I see here it's the higher point I'm going to use my snap guides I'm using three and I'm putting here point here I had another one. Okay, and now I know this middle part is going to be taller, so I'm dragging it up. I think I dragged it up too much like this, and then I want one corner to be like this, and this one to be like a small so let's go right Okay, so this is going to be my section for my beam. Now, to be able to use this um, as a section, you need to use Profiler. So I'm copying this. So copy. I'm going to design Complex Profiles Profiler Manager. Now we're creating a new profile. So I'm clicking here on New. I'm going to name it... Um, Frame because this one is going to be the frame of my rows. Okay, now let's center, paste, center to the current view. There you go. Now I'm going back to my snap points because I want this uh, back to half. There's my half. I'm going to drag this here. Where you see this point was red, this is going to be my middle, and this is going to be that big circle that I used. So the circle is going to be here. This is the middle of my shape. Now, if this is uh, okay with you, I'm going to click on everything, and it's going to be with B. Yeah? And I put override, and that's all.
Now I'm going to be go to your settings dialog, double click, and we are going to use a complex profile. And here you see custom, and we just need to look for our frame. Here is our frame, and OK. Now, this beam is set up. I'm clicking on my frame circle, going back to beam. With my magic tool, um, holding space, you activate the magic tool, click, and then continue. Then I'm going to generate perspective. And I'm going to center my image. And there you go. This is the frame of the rose. Now, we, because the frame is thicker, we need to create another beam for the interior. I'm going back to my ground floor. And we need to create a beam that will go around these. And this needs to be thinner. So Ctrl Shift D because I'm just not going to ruin that one. And uh, Ctrl K. And OK. And then from this point to this point. And I'm basically resizing this. And this one's going to be the new profile. Copy. And doing the same thing, going to design complex profiles profile manager and creating a new one and this is going to be middle middle and okay looking for my center here it is paste center make sure you put it on beam then override, and now that everything is creating, store, and now I'm going to beam. We select um, the other profile, I'm going to the middle. Okay, now that the beam is selected, now let's see how we can do this because this one is gonna overlap. So let's see. Going to generate perspective and waiting. And there you go, you have the little star. Isn't this cute? This is actually very nice. Now I'm going to finish the rows. I'm going to do the rest of the circles and I'm going to show you at the end how it looks. After I've done the middle rows, I realized I need to show you how you can make this uh, corners. So you don't want this to end like an edge, you want this to end as a corner. And I'll show you how you can do that. So I'm going uh, into my floor plan. I'm going here, so what you need to do is for this circle, for example, you need to go back to your intersection here and this one as well. Now we're going to make straight beams, so I'm going to make a line here. I'm gonna, gonna make another one from here to here. So this is a straight one. And you need to end this where they intersect. More, because it's gonna be like an angle there, a corner. Right, 
So what I'm going to do is gonna, I'm going to convert this piece into a morph and then I'm going to cut it. So I'm here and I'm going to make a fill. My fill will be something like this. And I'm going to have another one on this side. Doesn't have to be exact. Like this. Now, with this fill selected, I'm going to slab, holding space for magic tool and clicking inside. You're going to create a slab and you're going to use this slab to cut. Now, I'm selecting my slab and I'm dragging this up, Ctrl D, holding Shift to make sure I'm dragging this straight and I'm moving around a bit. So this is the piece that I'm going to cut with my slab. The slab needs to be converted to a morph. So select, right click, convert to morph. Okay. Now this piece as well, convert to a morph. To cut it, you will need to select what used to be a slab and right click and you're having here boolean operations and I'm going to use subtract click now it's going to ask me to select uh, the item that I want to subtract and clicking on this and now this is correct I'm going to do the same thing for the other part so here I am making a slab holding a space bar I'm going back to general perspective and I'm doing the same thing. I'm just going to drag up my slab. Seems fine. And I'm going to convert it to a morph. Convert this one to a morph as well. waiting for a while because my computer is kind of slow and now with my slab selected used to be a slab uh, boolean operation subtract and selecting the item that I want to subtract and there you go you have edges now I'm gonna copy this uh, edge to everything else and I'm going to show you how everything turned out. I'm just making a union. I'm going to E. I'm going to know I'm just dragging this around. So I don't have it. And I'm just going to correct the circles. Okay, this is the final Gothic Rose. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. If you have any questions, please leave it in the commentaries below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.